into your mind, body, and soul. So, so, so. All right. Okay, uh, there's a website called um, Soul Under Attack Live Feed, something like that. You gotta find that one, and uh, everybody over there. Okay. Gloria, what is shh, this? Shh, 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 just need everybody to be quiet, just go. Okay. All right, good, 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 good. Everybody's gonna be in the side. All right, I got it. Now what? He... Joel. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, uh, click on the window that it has, uh, it's the river area, I think it's the third one, I think? Okay. 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 It's gonna happen really soon, so just like, just wait for it. Wait for what? Just watch the screen and tell me when you see it. See what? Holy shit. All right, it's back. It's, you know, see it? Yeah, I got it. Is it there? The giant monster? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> Gloria, you gotta see this. What is it doing? It's dancing. It's dancing like... Holy shit. <laughs> uh, it stopped. <laughs> Hi, assholes. Mwah. I'm blowing you I'm blowing you kisses. Oh, what the... Okay, how? Huh. How? Wait, wait, this isn't happening. No, 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 this is not happening. This is one of those practical joke apps. This is a joke. Well, you it's know, a I joke. You know, I like dancing, so, uh, can you guess which film this is from, huh? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Do you want to make any requests? This is, does not last that long. It's a joke. What? What the? Ow. <laughs> they're, they're, they're shooting at you. Missiles. They're shooting at me? Are you serious? Who? Where? Where? All right, come on, fuckers. You want to mess with me? Come on! Ow, what was that? What was that? A helicopter crashed. Into my head? Yeah. With the, with, like, the pilot and everything? Wow. All right, Gloria, what is this? Shit. Shit, I don't want to be here anymore. Um, I don't... How do I get out? Uh, which way is the river? I don't know where it is. Hey, Lord. I don't want to be here anymore. Can you just show me which way the river is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, my people? Dreamwise here for another one. Today we're going to dive into this Lilo and Stitch, the monster inside of you. Remember, loveliftlife.com. Go get your spiritual tools, family. Statues, crystals, and I say cards. Get your tools and do your spiritual work. Start reprogramming your subconscious mind. Self deification is a must. Yeah, like I said, you might think you're over it, but your conscious mind is going to tell you whatever you want to hear. Use these symbols to reprogram your subconscious mind. A tale of a young girl's close encounter with the galaxy's most wanted extraterrestrial. Lilo is a lonely Hawaiian girl who adopts a monster who pretends to be a dog. She names him Stitch. 
Stitch would be the perfect pet if he weren't in reality a genetic experiment who has escaped from an alien planet and crash landed on Earth. Through her love, faith, and unwaveringly belief in Ohana, the Hawaiian concept of family, Lilo helps unlock Stitch's heart and gives him the ability to care for someone else. Okay, so Stitch, also known as 626, or in this breakdown case, 666, is a highly powerful monster from another planet. Stitch is a representation of the melanin beings here. You are the beast. You are the monster. Stitch crash landed on this earthly plane. He doesn't understand the ideas or functions of humanity. See, conforming to this way of life is part of your ego. You need your ego, intellect, to get along and be along on this earthly plane. It helps you make rational, common sense decisions for the mundane. Like putting on clothes you like, picking up your kids from daycare, paying your bills. Basically being a responsible human while you're here under this existence and these society rules. You are truly a chaos being. Your soul is trapped in this human vessel and is living out this life's experience. Your soul is the true you and the part of you you're trying to wake up. Your soul doesn't have any idea what conforming and obeying laws and rules is. Remember, you are a cosmic being that is forever in everything. You can't fathom the notion of eternal bliss or ruler of all that is with this human brain. You have free will where you come from and that means your deepest urges on this earthly plane can be expressed on the other side. Monster. But who's to say these urges are what's actually going to be the greatest greatness? The whole concept and idea of monster we're talking about is free will, freedom from external control or influence, independence. You are a monster, and what they're saying when they reference the term of monster is inside of you, doing what you feel and want is locked away so you can be civil on this plane. You don't want nobody to come and lock you up and throw away the key. You don't want to hurt people's feelings either. So you're careful with your words. And more importantly, you are protecting your feelings and emotions so you can just get along to be along. You ever notice a little kid talking to an adult and telling the adult straight up the truth? Grandma, your breath stinks. Ooh, mama, you just so fat. That lady looks funny over there. Well, that's because they're still in that realm of understanding of not factoring in humanity. Just look at a baby and you'll understand that. You can be sick throwing up, feeling bad as shit. You think that baby is factoring in your pain? They just came from the place of Zamunda. And it's our job to put our intellect and ego on them to prepare them for this world, the matrix. Your true self is what we would call a creator, chaos being, and doesn't have any notion of human. But with the many and many lifetimes you've been down here, you will have the understanding of what a human experience is. While conforming to this realm, you picked up emotions, intellect, and fear to have your place in this reality. The idea is rid yourself of these human angst, human thought, and start letting yourself, your higher self, reign supreme.
Stitch has his monstrous urges while on the earth plane and Lilo is trying to conform him to be a civil pet. She does things that we would do to train our children in the understanding of how this world works. They keep putting him in front of Elvis Presley ideas and concepts saying, you should be like him. Disney wants to conform you to the idea and notion of the upstanding citizen. Good nigga sticker. They don't want you to unleash your true power. They don't want you to tap into your true self. If you do and did, you'll be a creator on this realm and run the planet. They must keep you under mind control so that you are in a perpetual cycle of coming back to earth and obeying their wishes and commands. Try doing things you wouldn't readily do from time to time. Steal that item you was thinking about paying for. Run a red light when you don't see no cars and wondering, why am I waiting here? Explicitly cuss in front of your mama. Not at her, but at a situation on TV. Go in a restaurant with your mate and start singing as loud as you can. Put your car in park at a green light while people are behind you waiting and just start singing your favorite song. These things are just examples of breaking free of society's stranglehold on you. And they will help you in a way of ridding yourself of worries and fears of the world. Remember, in order to get to the true message and the ahas you need to receive, you need to balance out your chakras. Ridding yourself of human emotion and being a spiritually enlightened being all the time. This is just an illusion, remember? So as Stitch is conforming and understanding the way of the world, he starts feeling love and compassion for his new family, Ohana, where he is falling deeper and deeper into love for humanity as he is getting trapped in this circle of time. Disney has one objective, and that is to get your children and even y'all grown-ups to conform to this existence, humanity. Dream wise. Tell a random girl you see in the mall how nice her ass looks and walk away. Go up to a Caucasian and tell them they don't even exist and smile. Sneak into the movie theater. Buy an outfit and wear it and return it the next day. Oh wait, y'all y'all niggas already do that shit. <laughs>